Hey everyone, it's Gamer Studios here, and guys, today, welcome to a brand new video on the AGS Review Series, guys. Today, we're going to be reviewing Marvel Studios 2021 Black Widow. I recently got to see it, and I'm going to give you guys my thoughts about the film. Should you watch it? Should you not watch it? You're all going to hear that here. And also, by the way, I will be retaining spoilers in this video, um... But it will be kind of hard to not talk about any spoilers within the first few seconds. So if you guys happen to enjoy this video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new, ring the notification bell to stay up to date to the channel. And with that being said, let's get right to it. Doing my impossible best to not spoil Black Widow, what can I give you guys about this film? Me personally, I gotta say that I thought that this film would actually be pretty darn bad. I'm not gonna lie. I thought that this film would be alongside... In terms of how bad this film is, like like Avengers Age of Ultron, Iron Man 2 and 3, Thor 1 and 2, even though I really enjoyed Thor 1, I kind of enjoyed Thor 1, I didn't much as enjoy Thor 2, but in terms of to scale with that, I would say it's actually really good, it's actually one of the best Marvel movies, it's not the best, it's not great, it's a good Marvel movie. Um, if you did happen to enjoy Captain America and the Winter Soldier, you will enjoy this movie. Um, there are also a bunch of other Easter eggs um, regarding to the mutants um, and the Winter Soldier project, which was pretty cool. Uh, and there are multiple references to Captain America in this movie, um, particularly with one of the characters being Red Guardian. Um, he talks about Captain America a few times. But honestly, besides that, there's nothing really else that I can spoil for you guys within this non-spoiler section. Um, if you are interested in watching this movie and you want to know where does this movie take place, it takes place after the events of Captain America Civil War and before the events of Avengers Infinity War. So right smack in the middle. So, so with Ant-Man and the Wasp and um, Thor Ragnarok and... Um, Doctor Strange, this movie falls along that particular time gap between in those two movies. So, um, I kind of recommend watching it. If you are interested in watching this movie, watch it. Um, I wouldn't say that this would be a huge theater thing unless you really want to go back to the theaters. But with that being said, that's it for the spoilers. No, no, non spoilers. Let's get to the spoilers. Okay, so spoiler time. What did I not like and what did I did like what did I like about this film? So I'm gonna talk about the not like things. And there was one thing that I wasn't really pleased about, and I know it involves with the plot twist and Black Widow's character, but it was the reveal of Taskmaster and who that character actually is in this movie. She is basically the counterpart to Deadpool. Um Taskmaster Taskmaster in this movie does not talk. He is menacing as all get out, but he, like, Taskmaster doesn't talk at all. And they is just basically a mindless, per, um, controlled person, which I thought was kind of twisted. Like, it was a twist, not gonna lie. I thought it was actually gonna be, like, the real Taskmaster. But this Taskmaster isn't really like the comic book Taskmaster at all. To where, like, he actually, like, it, it's not built in, like, like, he doesn't, he reads people's moves, like, because he researches them. Not, oh, I'm gonna watch, I'm gonna research, but I'm also gonna download everything into these goggles that I'm wearing to interpret what they're gonna do next. That's not who Taskmaster is, necessarily, and this movie, not gonna lie, even though it does a lot of similarities with Taskmaster, and this is probably the way probably the most comic accurate Taskmaster for the MCU, this is not Taskmaster. We could eventually see that character show a later or date in like in the later time, but I don't think that Marvel did a great job representing Taskmaster in this movie. But to be fair, most of the time in this movie, um, it was done by the stunt performer who happens to be a guy, so that was all right with me. Um, and the, char the actress, not gonna lie, she did kind of do a good job for the little small face and face reveal that she did, but otherwise, it was just kind of disappointing. She doesn't fit the suit at all. Definitely feels like it belongs to somebody else and not her. Um, besides that, I didn't really much have any other problems with this movie. 
I mean, probably probably besides Melina and how the fact that she nearly killed a pig and everything, I thought that was kind of like twisted and she just kept allowing the pig not to breathe. And everyone was like, hey, let the pig breathe and everything. But honestly, um, besides those two small things, honestly, I got to say that this was a pretty okay movie. Um, Black, um, Scarlett Johansson in this movie obviously does a great performance. Like every other time she's in a Marvel movie, she does a great performance for with what she is given. Um, I definitely liked all the other characters that they introduced, such as Yelena and Alexi. Definitely liked those two, and I can definitely see Marvel hitchhiking on some spinoffs and using the title of Black Widow for Yelena. Said she is going to be the next Black Widow for the MCU, and I really like her character. I like what she did and how she kept calling Black um, her sister um, necessarily um, a poser. And you do when you whip your hair when you're fighting with the arm and the hair and you do like a fighting pose it's a yeah it's a fighting pose you're a total poser you're not a poser <laughs> and everything and then like they'll get in an action scene and she'll pose and everything and then elena ends up doing a pose and she's like ah it's disgusting i don't like it Alexi in this movie i really enjoyed his character and what the actor had to do with him um and the fact that he keeps mentioning that he fought Captain America in like 83, 84, which kind of doesn't make any sense. There's Now, there is a lot of other Captain Americas. We ended up seeing um, the first black Captain America in Falcon and the Winter Soldier, not being Sam Wilson, but somebody else. But not only that, there's another comic um, book of Captain America to where there is an actual darker, more confederate, more racist Captain America of Steve Rogers and everything. And I'm not saying that Steve Rogers kept America as racist or anything, but essentially the next person who took the next white Captain America who took the Captain America mantle happened to be that particular person. And so maybe that's who he's talking about, but it doesn't really make any sense because he, Alexei wasn't a part of the um, Korean Wars or anything, so I'm wondering when did he fight Captain America? I would really like to see um, the fight between Red Guardian and Captain America. I think that would be an amazing fight, and honestly, it would be really interesting. Um, but anyhow, um, there were obviously a lot of great shots in this movie, and I, I just gotta point out one thing. This movie keeps making you think that Black Widow is going to die. If, like, if a fan who isn't consistent with the Marvel movies and hasn't seen the Endgame, they're going to think, oh my gosh, how is this chick not dead yet? Like, they did so many things to make it feel like she was going to die. Like, she fell off a four-story building. She um, got shot with a rocket or something, and her car flipped, like, five times and everything. Like, this, like, Black Widow should have died in this movie, but they didn't. It was kind of funny and ironic how they were like, oh, she's going to have a death. Like, we're going to show all these things of how she should die, but she's not going to because she's already dead in Endgame. But um, besides that, um, there were amazing shots in this movie. Um, when the Red Room crashes and everything, there's just an amazing shot where the station just falls in this forest and everything. And it kind of looks like a backdrop, but it works so great because you could tell that there is a forest and it just kind of falls in the middle of the forest, which I like. Um, so the next thing I want to talk about is the opening scene of Black Widow and why I think it is the best opening scene of any MC, MCU movie. And I'm going to explain why. So obviously the person who directed it and I gotta say, he did. The, whoever directed it did a phenomenal job because the entire time, you're sh they're showing you that everything is going great, and you feel like everything is going great, but you also feel like something's about to happen, and it, and basically that's what it happens. Like you expect, like you have an expectation of like, okay, something is uh, their life is good, but something is gonna happen, and when that when the opening of this movie falls with that it works really great and the acting did phenomenal with the opening and um the song um done by Navarna and who was end up doing who ended up redoing us the song um smell almost like teen spirit um I think that the tone of the song fit a little great 
just not with the auto tune within there was too much auto tune with the the song for the intro but it addresses um child trafficking and i think that's a great thing that they needed to show to make people aware that hey this actually happens whether you realize it or not it happens and like people know this but like having to see it happen in a marvel movie and to realize that this actually is happening is kind of nuts it's kind of sad and scary and obviously this movie is not a kid's movie it, it, it's not no matter how many people who say this is a kid's movie this is a marvel movie it's meant for kids this is not a kid's movie at all um it was a little bit uncomfortable at a few times especially with the opening um but um it's a really great opening you, you guys just gotta watch the opening for yourself it's great everybody liked a good chunk of people liked the opening and said that this was probably the best opening of a marvel movie um but anyway i gotta i gotta say i really enjoyed it um enjoyed black widow not gonna lie i thought this movie was gonna suck i'm not gonna lie but it's exceeded my expectations i think it did pretty good um, but I'm going to rate, I'm going to give, um, Black Widow a 7.5 out of 10. I enjoyed this movie. It's not the best Marvel movie. Um, it's a movie that's been long overdue. It feels like a phase two, early phase three movie, but I gotta say, I enjoyed this. I enjoyed the movie and what it has to offer. And I can't wait to see where Yelena goes in Hawkeye. I think that's going to be great. I can't wait to see where Alexi goes with as Red Guardian. I think that's going to be great as well. So anyway, let me know, guys. What do you think about Black Widow? Did you enjoy it? Let me know down in the comment section below. And I will see you all next time. Peace out.